patter 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 with patter I shall play oh patter patter okay hello and welcome to the stream twitch tells me I'm now live today's uh, pre padding was the song the Hanukkah song dreidel 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 uh, so that's not interesting okay so this is a inaccurate list of what we're going to do today uh, yesterday we got caught up in looking at um, depend functions and functional dependencies uh, for an ellipse. And again, the question we were asking is, uh, given a certain amount of information about an ellipse, what other information can we divine from that given information? And uh, and the, the answer is, of course, in some cases, very easy, th because, you know, there is a function that takes the uh, semi-minor and semi-major axis and gives you the eccentricity. Uh, that's a very easy function. That's not very deep. Um, but the question is, you know, and given, for example, the semi-minor axis and the eccentricity, can you get A? The answer to that is yes. But it goes a lot deeper than that, and it's not just for ellipses. I actually also want to do it for astronomical formulas. And this could apply to any closed-form formula, and if you think about it, it could actually apply to even non-closed-form formulas, although that would be more difficult. So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's go ahead and put this into, I think, Mathematica. Yeah. Um, BC function, wow. Um, uh, um, functions of relations. There's, that's a name that no one will ever understand. Okay, go into text mode here. So we're going to introduce a new function called convert. Um, and we'll, we'll give some examples of it. But convert's going to be a very strange function. Uh, I'll go ahead and give one example of it, and then after that, we're going to mention some really unusual -ish properties that convert has. So let's go back over here to vc ellipses.txt, I guess I didn't call it .m, and we'll take a look at our relationships here. So, um, yeah, this is a great one to start on. Okay, that's fine. All right. So from this, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and actually paste this into Wolfram Cloud. Um, if we can find it. Cloud.wolfram.com. And I have no idea how to look at... Well, I actually do have some idea. And I have to go to Mr. Wolfman. Mr. Wolfman needs... Not not Stephen Wolfram, but the guy there needs to kind of die, basically. Okay, so we'll call this eek1. It's not really going to be important what we call it. Um, I think we need parentheses. But again, this is not the important part. So let's solve eek1 for a, which is just trivial, of course. Because it basically a is on one side. All you need to do is divide by 2. Okay. Um, but this will give us an example of how the convert function works, and I am going to ask for it in input form because we are going to need it that way. Okay. Uh, there are two possible, is there two possible answers here? No, no, this is fine. Um, okay. So <laughs> here's where it's going to get ugly. So convert, this says we can take f, x, and y and get a. So the function here is going to be called convert f, x, and y. Now, there is a, there is sort of an issue here with, um, uh, so I need to put this down as an issue, actually. Um, canonical order of, I guess lexicographic is the big fancy word, and when, whenever I can use the big fancy word, I will. And let's make sure this is spelled correctly. Lexicographic. Okay. Lexo, lexicographic order of variables. So we do need to make sure that we don't, you know, have the situation where we're saying f x y once and x f y in another case. So we do have to preserve that. Um, let's go ahead and put that in there. That is one of many, many things that's going to become an issue. Another one, before I forget it, is um, if requested output is already in input. We'll see. Talk about that in a minute. Um, and then there will be conditions like. Um, chain joining, which, which is much more complicated. So what we're saying is if you have fx and y, notice, by the way, that if you're a Mathematica fan, these are not variables. These are actual symbols. We're not saying you put in three numbers here. We, you actually have to put in literally f, literally x, li literally y. In another programming language, you might treat these as strings, uh, just to make it clear that we're not talking about uh, variables here. But in Mathematica, symbols are a first-class object. You can do what I'm doing here, I think. I don't know. Maybe. And you can get A. So what this tells us is uh, if you're given f, x, and y, you can get A. And we even have a little formula for A that I'm going to now copy over. Um, 
and paste it in here. But here's where it gets kinds of. Here's where I stop talking. Here's where it gets kind of ugly. Convert itself doesn't take any variables. It only takes symbols, and those are fixed symbols. So for so convert actually outputs in and of itself a function. That's right. You heard me. It outputs a freaking function. Okay. So, the way we define it, let me make sure I got these parentheses and stuff right here. Um, I think that's valid. The way we define convert fxya is that if you give this function three variables, fx and y, same order as this, it will spit out for you a, which is this. Now, let me see if Mathematica is going to accept this. And this, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that maybe even math, Mathex would just not even try to handle this. Uh, so let me, let's see if it's syntactically valid first, okay. Um, we no longer need, oops, we no longer need this line. And honestly, we don't even need equ1 anymore, because that, the sole purpose was to get to this. Well, actually, that's not true. Okay. So now, well, there's no output here, because we, we okay. So now... How do we call this function? Well, let's see we know the focal length is 1, x is 2, and y is 3. I don't think that's actually a possible combination, but, but let's see. That might give us an imaginary result. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wow. I didn't expect it to be that complicated. Okay. But this is how we call this function. Um, we call it using the three variables that are f, x, and y. Now, can I actually call it with the variables f, x, and y? to get back the original formula. I think I can. Um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, can I call it with three different variables? Like, can I call these... This is, of course, you would never really do this. But can I call f, x, x, f, and leave y the way it is? And again, this, this should give me the answer I want. Um, I actually didn't check to see if it did, but I'm going to say it did. Um, and actually, okay. That might be the same by symmetry, but anyway. Anyway, so the, the idea here is convert is going to spit out functions that actually do the conversion, but its input to convert is going to be pure symbols, not actual numbers or anything. Um, let me see if I can do this ABC. Okay, good deal. So I do have my variables bound correctly. The A here and the A here are different. This A is a, this a, is a symbol, this A is a variable. And by the way, if you're studying Mathematica, that might be compl what I just said is might be completely wrong. Um, so so don't pay me any attention. In theory, we should be able to say what it is. If I don't think this is possible. Oh, is that actually true? Can you actually have a point x y that is also the length? I don't think that's possible actually. Um, uh, so I guess what this is saying is, if you had a focal point of five and you were on five comma well actually. Now that might be possible. That might be possible. Okay. All right. So this is this is how we're starting off, and it's pretty ugly to begin with. And we obviously want to try to automate this process. Now, s if someone's saying, "Hey, are you inventing a new branch of mathematics?" Almost definitely not. Uh, are you doing something that people haven't done before? Probably not. Someone's probably done this, and I'm more convinced that people have done this and decided it doesn't actually give you anything useful. Um, so this is exactly why I'm doing it. It's, it's useless. It's probably been done, and it wastes my time. Well, actually, it uses up my time, which cannot be wasted because my time has no value and therefore cannot be wasted. Okay, so this is this is one example of, uh, you know, if you have fx and y, you can get a, and it's a function. Let's go with one other example, which I probably shouldn't have deleted one. That was my bad. Okay. By the way, I, the phrase my bad is kind of foreign to me. I, did, I never actually used it myself until I heard other people using it. My mistake, or mia culpa, is how I would say it. Okay, so now we can get a out of this, but there's three other variables here. Can we get x out of this if we knew the other variables? And the answer is yes. And I have to be careful here. I think we can get rid of this, though. Um, and the answer is yes, we can. Um, and again, a lot of this is going to be, this is going to be very tedious if we don't automate it quickly. Now, there's two values of i here, uh, of x here. Uh, we could return both of them, but I'm going to be a little bit obnoxious uh, because I happen to know how this, you know, we're talking about the positive, uh, the positive upper right half 
the upper right plane, quarter plane. So we just need the second one. But um, so we'll go ahead and paste that here, and we're going re to reduce it a little bit. So again, this is a manual example. We're saying convert if you have um, A, F, and Y. I think that's what we have, right? We have A, F, and Y. Let's see, A, F, and Y. Yep, we can get to X. And the way we do that is through this formula. So if you're not confused yet, I would probably pat yourself on the back because I'm confused. I'm the one doing it. Uh, right, where is this parenthesis going? Uh, is that parenthesis? No. Fudge. I think this is correct. Let's find out. Alright. Again, we'll just give it one sort of shot to do it the way it wants to. Um, that, that looks correct. I mean, um, so this is, this is the kind of nightmare we're trying to create without creating a nightmare over it. That is, we're trying to see, see what variables you can get from what variables. And there are several problems here. And one of them is, um, what if you wanted to get, what is this function equal to? And this function, as you might see, is just equal to a. Because if you have, let me actually do that with, sorry, let me do that with a, um, with a variable that's not the, the first variable. So here's the problem we're going to have. There are tons of functions like this where you provide the variable on the input and you request it in the output. This is a perfectly valid formula for that. It basically just gives you back the second input. This is not useful, though. We do not want to be creating stuff like this because this is garbage. This is not something we need. So um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to, um, I don't know how much of this we can do with Mathematica, uh, and when I say Mathematica, I mean you know the Wolfram language. Um, so the first thing we need to do is when we have a relation, which we're now going to put in, ooh, no, 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 reload, reload. Okay. Um, and for right now, we'll just call it equal one. So the first thing we want to know are what are the variables in this equation? I mean, they're x, at y, f, and a, clearly. But we want Mathematica to determine what are the variables, and then we want to solve for each variable. Now, that is based on the pre premise that this equation is one of the ones we discussed yesterday, where any one of the variables can be determined by the other three. Not all equations are like that. In some cases, you might need only two variables to determine the other two, or you know, some weird combination like that. For now, though, we're going to stick with this very sort of normal, common occurrence, which is the, that you have n variables, and any n minus one of them can determine the other missing variable. Okay. So now I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to go ahead and say Mathematica extract variables from, it's not really an equation, but whatever. And as we expect, um, let's see, wait a minute, oh, variables is actually, well, that's not hard then. That's kind of a, <laughs> kind of a, <laughs> kind of a anticlimax there. Uh, oh, this is the one we were using yesterday. We're going to pretend we don't see it. And this one, and, oh, I think I might have typed over exactly what I wanted to be in. <laughs> I'm a moron. Okay, so this is equation one. And we can do this. Okay, so now what we want is variables of each one. Let's see if this is actually a uh, relation, not an, ooh. That's not cool. Um, it, it is not a function. I, I mean, I have to give you that. Let's see what the hell this actually does gives a list in a polynomial. Well, that's not cool. This is not a polynomial. This is a freaking relationship. Oops, I mean a relation, not a relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship. Um, okay. Yeah, well, this is great if you happen to have a freaking polynomial in your hands. Okay. Um... 
So is this guy our oh, quadratic equation? Well, that's not good. We want a more general um, extract variables Mathematica from equation. Okay, uh, we are going to skip the first Pomodoro today, as we always do. We will. I. I will. Uh, basically be walking around uh, in 20 minutes every 20 minutes, but not this one specific time uh, because it's the first one. Okay. Okay, so this is probably closer to what I want. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Oh, my freaking God. Man, um, okay, so this is interesting. We're basically saying he's saying that we go into this, uh, and we check to see that something is a symbol, which is a Mathematica, a true, you know, that's something Mathematica understands. Um, I'm pretty sure, according to what we saw here, this so I'm tempted to actually put in like a little reply here. And I do have an account, so I could do it, but I'm not going to. Um, this only works with polynomials, apparently. That's the problem. And we don't necessarily have polynomials. Uh, eliminating variables now. This is getting closer to what we want. This is symbolic, so we're talking about symbols here. Elegantly. See, we want to do everything elegantly. Oh, come on, this is not the same as... God damn it. Um... So the question is, does Mathematica have a symbol um, function, symbols function? Nope, I want Mathematica. Okay. Aha! A symbol. That's probably not what we want. Uh, let's see if there's a function like symbol name. Local symbol, cloud symbol, extract symbols from freaking expression. Oh, to expression, that might be useful. Okay, what about from expression? Uh, that's the direction I'm going from. Um, from, nope, up yours, okay. All right, we are getting some clues here on how to do this. Um, so we can, unfortunately I don't think this is actually this is just a form. I don't think it actually changes anything. We can ask for the tree form of this, which will have some coolness to it. Shiny, huh? Um, but this is just a form. I don't think we can actually... Uh, I don't think this, is, this doesn't change the value itself. Um, so this is not a list, unfortunately. Um, is there a symbol queue function? new uh, so how do we say s symbol that doesn't sound right I'm trying to figure out how we decide whether something is a symbol or not in Mathematica Sim usually these are functions that end in the letter Q symbol Q would mean is this a symbol um, let's go over to our we'll go ahead and pin this for right now let's go over to our answer here that was not super helpful but somewhat helpful did I, do I keep deleting my answers? Am I, am I that stupid? Well, yes. Kind of goes without saying, I guess. That was my own stupid answer. I don't want that. That was house door space. That's not interesting either. Uh, maybe I actually got rid of the whole... Maybe it's in this thing here, which I don't want to... Okay. So one more time. Mathematica. Um, extract symbols. And someone had one thing here. Ooh. This new search apparently gives me better results. Um, this is interesting. So we've now sort of transitive two questions. Um, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Interesting. Okay. Let's try this sucker. 
Okay. Late duplicates, cases, eek one. At all, in, in, infinite number of. So I, ooh, that is super shiny. Okay, so we're building up a little process here. Um, so now what we want to do is give it an expression. We want to now. This should work, but let me make sure that we, we have this. And I'm going to just name it after the current timestamp in, in my time zone, which is, which means I really shouldn't have the UTC up there. So now the question is, can we say solve eq1 for temp 12.05 1? In other words, can, can we r really use that as a variable? I think we can. I mean, if we can't, that's a really bad definition of what a symbol is. Okay, I'm not looking too good there. Oh, I'm missing a, um, I'm missing this sucker. Nice, 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 we can. Um, I guess for me, I could do a sort on these. I don't know if we really need to. Um, okay, well, the more I, uh, okay. Let's create a table, solve equation one for I, where I goes through the list of duplicates. No, sorry, the list of variables. Uh, it's not too bad there. It's looking pretty damn good. Okay. Um, um, so we've got to be a little bit careful here because um, we probably want to keep our value of i with these. We want to know what... Um, what oh, actually, hang on. So for each of these, I mean, I, gu I guess it's pretty obvious which variable we're solving for. It's the first part of this. Um, and the other three other variables that are inside it, which technically we could get with this magic function, um, which I'm going I'm to create a function for this now, um, that lets you get the symbols out of an expression, hopefully in all cases. Uh, and then we could do this, solve it for each of these cases, and that's where we can start building our. Um, that's where we can start building our, our convert function, uh, very, very nicely, very quickly. Uh, get some of it going there. Um, we do need to do more though. Actually, and these convert functions will turn out to be helpers, because another problem here is. Um, so we know how to convert from f x y to a. What if someone gives us f x y, q r s three additional variables? Well, we can still do this, we can just ignore the other three variables. We need to handle cases like that too, where we can solve from, uh, let's actually go ahead and put that in here. Um, um, can compute from subset is a special case. Okay. Um, okay, so th there's gonna be a lot of sort of uh, of uglinesses here that we that we want to deal with. That's one of them. But we're now s at some point now we can do um, extract variables of yeah, this. This might get ugly. Let's, let's take a quick look at it here uh, because now we're trying to use um, okay extract variables of expression. And I'm pretty sure if I do this as an equal, it's not going to work. I'm pretty sure I need to do a set equal. I'm pretty sure you cannot um, assign it. In fact, I'm, I'm. In fact, I'm so sure that I'm pretty. I'm this. This itself may not make sense, because it's going to try to evaluate the right side, and that makes no sense. But being the maverick that I am, I'm going to see what happens if you put it in. It's probably going to be really unhappy with me. Okay, then tell me what extract variables is equal to. This for smarty pants. And I think it's going, oh. Yeah, see it's equal to nothing because it's trying to do it in real time. So that is not what we want, obviously. We want it to, whenever it's given an expression, actually do that. Still pretty ugly, by the way. Um, why do I have equation one twice? Okay. So here's what we're going to test it with. And if this works, we are we have the first 
of many, many steps completed. Well, sorry, started, I should say. All right, so let's do this. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay. So now we need to... Um, now we need to basically say for a given expression, solve for each variable individually. Uh, and then we need to actually look at... The results are pretty ugly. They're not, they're not just sort of obvious formulas. Um, So, um, I'm going to call this variable solutions of exp set equal to, it's going to be a list, um, solve expression for i, where i is a member of extract variables. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Expression. Ooh. This is this is getting this is getting interesting. Let me go ahead and do a BC git of this before I do anything more. Uh, okay. We're doing meta analysis, which is so cool. So give me the variable solutions now for eq one. I'm tempted to put this into math x, math x just to watch its brain explode. Um, which might be the only use. Of, what kind of bugs me is, oh. T I didn't know TextFly had highlighting. So maybe it's just telling me I could, uh, it doesn't like that word. No, it'll let me spell check it or something. I don't know for sure. Okay. Yep, there it are. Oop, there it is. Okay. Now, one problem we're already having here, which we sort of knew about, is that some of these things have multiple solutions. I'm not crazy about that, actually. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now we're going to have to play around here a little bit. So I'm okay with that. V twelve twelve equals this. Now, we're going to look at them individually, and they're still pretty ugly. So let's just look at the first one. Okay. Um, yeah, and this, this is going to... Be now, in theory, we could have convert return to solutions, and that might be the way to do it, actually. Um, so now the question we need to ask ourselves... Um, let me, let me look at the uh, For some reason, I think the second one is just a duplicate of itself. Oh, no, it's not. X has two possible values as well. So maybe A is the only one that has one value. Let's see if we can find it. Um, cl clearly, this is not in sorted order. Uh, so I think it's going to be the fourth one is going to be A. And yeah, A only has one solution. Okay. So now... Um... How do we build up the convert for this? Uh, we'll, we'll start with the A example because it's the simplest one. Uh, so we're trying to build up convert. Fxy is the first parameter. A is the second parameter, the function that is equivalent to the thing inside this thing. Boy, that, that sounded fantastic, didn't it? Um, okay. And I think that we almost have to go into the first element of this. I don't see that this is... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but now I'm going to do it with one that has two elements because now I'm worried that I might have screwed something up. Might have lost a solution or something. Okay. Oh. Yes, I can't do that. Okay. All right. So, now what I can do here is I can do Y given this, which just gives me the two solutions which might be, which is sort of what we want convert to be equal to. And we do at some point need to decide is if, we, if we give only one answer, is it going to be inside of a set or not? So let's go ahead and put that in here. Um, for consistency, we probably should do that. So lot, lot of, lots of other stuff to do here, but okay. 
Um, okay, so this is why given that. Um, and let's see. So now, Oikobolt. Let me take a look at what the one, this should just be the Y itself. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is three. And we now want... We want, we want to get the, this little Y arrow thingy here. So I'm pretty sure this is, this might be it. Nope, we need one more one here. Okay, cool. So now can we say this, given V1212, three. And we should get, we should, wow, not bad at all. In fact, this is so good, I'm going to copy this into here. I am going to go ahead and do a BC kit save, even though I'm being a little bit over paranoid here. Okay. Um, okay. So we get the variable solutions. We can get these are the actual solutions. Uh, we actually need to now get... Okay. So this expression is pretty cool, actually. Um, so the next thing we can get from this, I'm going to leave this the way it is, but the next thing we can get from this is um, we can get the variables itself from this. Extract variables. Because we are funky. There it is, AFX. So now we can say And we're defining a function, which is not necessarily a good thing, but... Uh, so, in theory, we can say, convert of... Let's give these things names here, here. You can be V1213, you can be V1214. So we can say, convert of V1214. And the second parameter, by the way, will always be just a variable. Um, Call this V1250. And we have this sucker. We will need to deal with the case uh, where solve isn't able to solve something. Uh, we're just look using a very easy example here. And we, c we can omit those. Um, but we do need to be aware of them. Okay. Okay, so the we're saying the convert of V1214, which is the variables in the answer is equal to v of V1215 to get to this is equal to V1212 3 no fuck because we still need to put the parameters in here And I'm probably okay with... The problem is they're not going to have little, little dinky arrow things after them. Um, so here's... The, we need the variables as extruded symbols. In other words, we need F bar, A bar, X bar. Because uh, we already have the variables. We know those are V1214. Um... So how do we do that? Um, alrighty, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Mm. I guess we've kind of solved this part a bit. Uh, let's. We. I don't want this anymore. So let's go ahead and go over here and say. Mm, Mathematica convert symbol to variable. That is technically... Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. I want underscores, god damn. There's no underscore in this whole page. Um, I don't think that's going to help any. But let's find out. 
to string to expression input form, output form, display form. Hmm. This would be one hell of a mathematical question. All right, Pomodoro back in two and two. And we are back. Um, by the way, the stuff I'm doing here probably will not be useful to the end user. We don't really want to give the end user these complicated functions, but they might be useful for developers to create functions for end users, and those functions would be something like xy2f, or, you know, whatever. They don't have to be, um, they don't have to be convert xy, comma, f, or anything weird like that. Okay, so let's see if any of these, ooh, semantic interpretation. Um, that is just totally wrong. It's interesting though, it has nothing to do with the wrong one. So we're looking for something that converts A to A. Well, let's, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look here. So once we want to convert like A, the symbol, to A this, so we can say F of symbol equals something. Um, so we, we need the wild carded form of the symbol. Um, and I'm wondering now if we can actually, well, you know, I haven't actually tried it the wrong way. Um, and that would be to put the variables in here. I'm okay with them being a list, by the way. That's not a problem. I am okay with that part. So, so what this would say, if it actually worked, would be that this function that we're going to call v1223, I don't know, it's called f1223, I'm getting tired of v. Call it this is actually going to be a function. I don't think that's going to work. And just to get rid of all this crap, we can do this this and this get rid of Mr. Wolf guy um this so I'm saying that oh actually I don't need to do this because I'm defining a function here I'm saying convert of this is this okay so now, I don't, this is not going to work. I want to see what convert is equal to. Show me. Global convert, and it's equal to, yeah. So the problem here is these are treated as hard variable. Ooh. I think I might have gotten these from an other, um, an other run of the program. So let's go ahead and clear convert up here. So we don't uh, accidentally get the right answer for the wrong reason. Right. 
Alrighty, so convert is now. Yeah. Something that takes. Yeah. This is not a function, unfortunately. Okay. This will make a great mathematical question that no one will ever answer. Um. Because it's, it's one of those things that's either easy or impossible, in my opinion. Okay. So, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this just to prove it can't be done. Um, convert. Um, we're going to take, we'll start with AFX, because that's what we have. And we want Y. And I want you to evaluate it on 1, 2, 3, meaning A is 1, F is 2, X is 3. And I should get garbage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just get the function spit out at me again. All right. So what I want is I've got these symbols, and I want to treat them as variables. I think that's the closest I can say it. But let's see what this does. To string, text string, input form, output form, standard form, traditional form. These are forms. I don't think they can actually change what the actual... Define how a string should be interpreted. Um... Applies the interpreter expression, and I don't think this is going to do what I want. Um, interpret, yeah. Okay. It's a pretty cool function, actually. No, I'm not going to play it. Um, I'm getting closer, I think, to what I want, but that's not it. Semantic, semantic import string, integer string, dateless. These are not interesting. Letter from letter format, spoken string. So somewhere in here we have um, convert string to convert symbol to variables. What I'm looking for, and I and I I just, I just don't know if this is a question. If this is not something you can do in Mathematica, convert symbol to variable. I'm not even sure that's the right terminology. Ooh. Um, okay, let's go ahead and look at symbol handling and see how we turn symbols into variables. Symbol, symbol, name. Give the name of the symbol as a string. Context. Names. Name Q. Remove. Value Q. So in theory, I could use like something like down values to say the down value. No, that's still not right though. Okay. And this is what we're trying to do is pretty strange. So I'm not. I don't know if there's necessarily a uh, a cut and paste solution to do this. Okay, we'll look a little bit more on our own, and then we will... Ooh. Okay, this is not exactly what we want, but it's getting closer. Um, okay. Okay. Um, we're going to tag one in. Um, okay. This is just fucking weird. Raw box. What the hell is raw boxes? I thought it was just a bit like a decoration thing. Um. Okay. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Let's go ahead and look at some of the simpler answers here. So two expressions. So maybe that's what I need. Two expressions seems like it is a um, 
fairly useful looking thing. So I think all that does is, uh, or boxes as, um, oh, motherfucker. Let me, let me see what Wolfram Alpha thinks this symbol means. I know what A means, but I don't know what it thinks this missing unknown symbol. So A, that's probably going to be the same thing here. Okay, so it understands A is a variable. Um, now, of course, one, one, one issue here is we're not... Um, these numbers here are actually... Uh, you know, they're, they're formal parameters, so we don't actually need... In theory, we could just say number one, number two, number three when we did this, but it's kind of nice that we already have this format here, uh, so we want we want to do this. Um, okay. All right, well, let's, let's try some shit. I think this is not going to do anything for me because... Well, first of all, let's see what this does. This is going to do nothing useful. Okay, so the expression is this. I can, of course, pick out variables. So this is still not going to do anything for me. Um, now, can I do this? Yeah, no. Okay. So, I think the problem is this is already an expression. So this, this, I think, is already an expression. I don't need to convert it to an expression. Okay. Is there a from expression? I don't know if that actually exists. I think I want to string, but anyway. Okay, nope. So what do I want here? Okay, so this is the symbol A. Now I could. Now I need to go. I need to convert this to string. I'm pretty sure there's actually a, a two string function. That one I'm I'm actually sure there probably exists. So this is probably just going to become the string A. Can't you can't tell that it's different, but it is. And so now can I do this? Okay. And now can I convert this resulting piece of crap to an expression? And I'm thinking it's going to tell me no. Oh, wow. I can. Okay. So now, T1232 equals, we're just making up names for this. And then can I say um, G of T1232 equals 2 times A plus 1. If that compiles, I would be somewhat surprised. And probably should have had some output there. So let's just ask, what is G after I do all this shenanigans? Ooh. Now that looks good. Let's see if it actually works, though. Motherfucking bullshit hell shit 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 fuck. You heard me. Um... God, there has to be a better way of doing this. Um, okay, uh, let's see. And that does it for one. We can, of course, do it for all three of them. Um, and re glue them to Jesus fucking Christ. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and do this table. Two expression, blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, just paste out something that I cut and pasted earlier. Okay, so we want this. We control C, control V, because we're in this other environment. I think you can actually force um, Firefox to use Emacs cut and paste, but I haven't done it, so. Okay. So, on I, and then I will be the very, ooh, your mama. Whoa. 
Oh, is it just being obnoxious now because it wants me to type something? Okay. Um, and then I is part of V12 14. So this should give me. Yes, good. Okay. Um. Mother of fucking God. So now, this is just fucking, fucking, fuck, fucking insane. So now can I say H of T1235 equals A, you know, is equal to um, A plus F plus X. And does that actually track? I don't know why I'm saying the word track. I heard Brennan Mulligan say it on uh, College Humor. Um, so it looks good. It looks like it's doing what we want. Um, and I guess we could test it, but this is... So this should not work because we, we were saying the input is actually a set of three symbols. This will not work. Good. But if we turn this into a set of three symbols, we should get back uh, six. Oh, damn. Fucking hell. I'm going to copy this. I can. Select all. Control C. Control Y. Push it to get. Because this is exactly what I need. Okay. And I know you can't see me pushing to get, but I've done it. All right. So let's go ahead and use this to create some more... Um, to create some more formulas that, that could be useful for us. And we'll go ahead and create them nowhere. No, we'll go ahead and create them over here at the top. Uh, and we'll go step by step, although you know, obviously we're going to be creating more complicated functions from simpler ones. So let's just say here, we had two nice ones here. Um, extract variables from an expression extracts the variables. Okay, good deal. We, we got that. Uh, and then variable solutions solves an expression for all possible variables. Got that. Um, and then, okay, so we want now all of the, we want all, see, extract variables we can already do to the right side now. Um, Okay. So now that we have the the uh, variable solutions, what do we want to do? Okay, so I think I think we're we're at a, we're at a point here where we can move on. Um, let's see. Clear convert extract equals this equals norm variable solutions of equal one. So far, so good. Then we say this is close to what we want. Um, this is the expression that will be the right-hand side of our massive, ugly equation. Um, thinking about, should we build a module for this? Because there's no way you're going to be able to do it in real time. Um, now, the only problem with creating a module here is... We need to return some seriously fucked up crap. We need to return functions of two arguments that return functions of the number of elements in the first argument of convert. And, and it would be a lot easier if we could just treat convert as a global variable and, uh, and assign to that. Um, so... Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're, we will make a note here, though. Can we make convert non-global? Okay. But for right now, it is going to be global. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, Mm 
define convert. So give us an expression and we will assign some things to convert. Uh, and it's going to be a module. It's just it's going to be too complicated with that doing as a module. Uh, plus, it, it's a delayed it's a delayed uh, set anyway. You can't set it in real time. You can't set it before you know what the expression is. Okay, Pomodoro back in two and two. And we are back. Okay. No chatters today? Good deal. Okay, so if we've got an expression, we want the variable we want the solutions to all the variables. But I guess the question is what are we gonna do with each of those solutions once we get them? Okay. Um and I don't want to lose any of this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just comment it out. Uh, I think we're going to end up rebuilding part of most of this, in fact. Um, but, okay. So we have the solutions. So give me like V1212 1. Okay, now I'm going to see where this. If I can hide this text. Um. I don't think I can. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a setting to hide comments. Well, there probably is. I just don't know how to do it. Okay, so we have these two solutions, which is great. Um, okay. Okay, we'll call this S1243, the solution. So for each solution, we're now going to be doing something. What the hell just happened? Oh, okay. Well, I, we do have this copied into the um, into the Emacs, so we can get rid of this. I'm not crazy about doing this, but let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so S1243 is equal to the first solution. So for each solution, we will be doing this. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me while I choke to death. I don't know why I'm choking to death. I'm drinking plenty of water-like fluids. Maybe I've got that hideous um, coronavirus, which is actually very mild for humans. Okay, um, 
So from here, we now want, I think extracting the, um, the output symbol, which is F in this case, is easy. We want to extract the input symbols. And the, the weird thing here is uh, we, can, we can do it from one or the other. We really should be doing it from both. But um, so let's see. So S1243. OK, so this is getting ugly now. One. That's just one of the two solutions. That's fine. <coughs> um, another one. That this is wrapped pretty deep. So this is the variable. OK. So what we know now is if we have one of the solutions, uh, we can get the um, output variable, I guess, um, by looking at Jesus Christ. OK, so that might be actually OK. <coughs> uh, we might actually be able to do a solution to, we, we might be able to simplify this by doing a, um, for right now, we're just going to do this. Is that going to work? I think you need some body here, but let's just do this. Um, all right. So right now we're not going to define it. Okay. Um, um, so if we end up doing this, this will be solution to function. Uh, given so this will be given a solution, not a not a. Um, Actually, we, we may not need the module. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Can't hurt. We can always demodulify it. So this one's going to be given just a single solution, like um, S1243. I just feel the need to print it out again. So by single solution, we mean a solution for one variable, even though um, there could be multiple solutions here. But we just have one output sort of variable here, which is which we can get to. So the output variable is this. Okay, that's fine. And the invars, <coughs> excuse me, are um, uh, so the invars are going to be. This is where it gets. Uh, um, okay. So this is going to be one one two. That that's not the inverse. Oh, okay, good, good, good. And then from that we need to extract our variables. Um, using extract variables. Um, and this still isn't going to be quite what we want, but this is going to be much. No Whoa! If I could spell, it would be much nicer. Variables. Okay. Oh, wow. Total, total fail there. Okay. Okay, so now we've extracted the variables. Now, th the problem we ran into is uh, these are symbols. We need to convert them into... Um, we need to convert them into, uh, into variables. Very subtle change here for Mathematica, but we do need to do that. So now we can create a nice little function here. Um, Symbol to variable, and we will follow the convention of camel casing here. Sim. Uh, brother. So this is where we're going to do the whole two expression. That's not that bad, actually. Um. <coughs> All right, so we convert the symbol to a string. We append this little thingy to it, and then we convert that back to an expression. That's not too bad, actually. And that's not, that is actually... Nowhere nearly as bad as I thought it was. Um, and I might, well, I probably won't answer any mathematical questions about this, but okay. Uh, and so now we need to do this. We actually need to, uh, let's see. I don't, now if I do symbol to variable here, it won't work because um, it's three variables in a list and I have not, I have not, uh, it's gonna look really ugly. Whoa! Bitchin'. I guess it's a listable function automatically. Okay. So we have our out var, which I think I do want to print our out var. I don't want to print S1243 anymore, but we do want to print our out var. Okay. 
Now the only problem is, oh, um, um, actually, oh, we actually need our invar the way that it is. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. We'll need our invar twice, once as uh, symbols, uh, and then once as as variables. This is this is so complicated, no one will ever understand it, which is the goal of all mathematicians. So that's just going to be simple to variable of invar1. Okay, so let's see what this does. Alrighty, so it gives us our symbol, symbol, symbol. <coughs> and we have done a clear convert up here because we're going to do this terrible thing now. We're going to do convert of invar1, no, invar, yes, invar1, outvar, invar2, equal, oh, it would be kind of nice to have a body here, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll get that in just a sec. Um, and I think that's actually just going to be invar1 given the solution, which we're calling uh, S1243. If this works, I'll be fucking amazed. If this compiles, I'll be amazed. Uh, and let's see what convert is equal to now. Well, I did compile, so I'm slightly amazed now. Convert? Oh my fucking god. Uh, no, 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 no. So close, but not quite. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure here I meant to say outvar, not invar1. Uh, still, if this works, I'll be fucking... Yeah. It worked. It returns a set of solutions. It defines convert. Um, hideous, hideous definition, but it looks like that's a workable definition. So in other words, if I say now convert of axy to f as applied to, uh, let's say a is 2, I don't, 3 is 4, 3 is 4, <laughs> x is 4, x is 3, y is 4, this will give us, ooh, not nice, okay, oh, right, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, this has to be in, 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 in a list. Um, okay, what's wrong now? Um, that should have done something. So, let's see. Extract variables, convert that to symbols. The only thing I'm thinking of here is this outvar here is not actually a symbol. It's something else. Um, and I can take its head to see what it is, but, um, let's see if I've done anything else wrong first. Let's take a look at the, uh, convert AXYF takes a list of three elements and returns this hideousness of them. Unless, well, okay, wait, you know what? Just give me this sucker here. This should be a pure function. Okay, that is not cool. Convert of AXYF should be that function. Hmm. Um. Okay, so this did not work. Let's see if I can even get to, um, oh, and actually probably can't get to even that. Mm, interesting. Convert <coughs> AX1F, AX1F. All right, let's see if, let's see, uh, the only problem I can think of is that uh, outvar is not, is not a symbol. It's, it's something else that's being weird. So let's just print the head of outvar. Crap, it is a symbol. Um, invar, now the head of invar, uh, 
the head of invar2 would be a list because we, we haven't really done anything with with that yet but each individual element in that should be a symbol so a very strange looking symbol but a symbol nonetheless That's not expected. Um, wait. So the head of outvar, but the head of invar two one is times. Did I not put commas in there? Or did I not bother to? Yeah. So they did assemble the variable, then I thought I got the right answer, so I didn't bother to check any further. But invar2 might not be a list of symbols, which is what I want it to be. Um, it might be a list of other something. It might be something terrible. So let's just see what it is. Invar2. Let's go ahead and delete all this uh, crappy output that is messing up our our symbolism here. Messing up our input, rather. Delete, be gone from this place. Delete. Okay. So now, let's not even do this yet. Come on, now now I've deleted everything. You can't do that to me anymore. Okay. Um, so we even bother with this. Let's see. So we have da -da 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 -da, head out var, head. Let's just print out in var 2. What is it? In var 2 is. Okay, that maybe have not been a good idea. Um, all right, so pff, fucking hell, this thing is a piece of shit. I'm going to figure out a way to run Mathematica here without screwing things up. Uh, this is, this is painful. Okay. Why, oh why, do you want to keep jumping down here, you piece of shit? Hit this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Didn't go anywhere. Um, invar, so all we want to do now is print invar2. At least that'll be the first thing we print. Okay. So invar2. Is that a space there? Hang on. Have I actually screwed this up and made that into a space? Yes, I have. There is a space there. Not cool. That is not how you uh, convert a um, symbol to variable. Two string sim. Uh, <laughs> two expression. This should not add a space to it. All right, well, let's see what it does to a basic, very simple um, piece of shit. Okay. I'm going to put my cursor here. Okay. And I guess we don't even need to go up over here. We can just do this over here. Symbol. Maybe if I got rid of this product header or whatever the hell it is. I don't think that's going to help any. Yep. Symbol, type. Oh, I was trying to bring it to the top. Maybe that's what's going down. Okay. Symbol to um, variable A. And I wish there was a way to sort of. Uh, you don't need to, every time I type something. You don't need to bring me there. I'm perfectly happy where I am. Especially when when I go back up, you don't you don't bother. Oh, page up maybe is what I need. Okay, symbol to variable A, what does that give us? It just occurred to me um, that I could, in fact, be using multiple math... In fact, I'm going to use uh, multiple mathematical tables because this is being such a pain in the ass. I'm going to use Wolfram Cloud, new notebook. That's right, baby. I can open two notebooks at once. I am hot. Oh, but I still need the definition now of symbol to variable. I can do. 
and then I want symbol to variable. Uh, and I think the big problem here is we're basically trying to apply it to a list when it was not designed for that. Okay, and now what's the head of that? That should be a symbol. A pattern. That might actually be okay though. Okay, Pomodoro, back in two and two. And we are back. This is getting pretty exciting for me. Okay, so now the question is, if we say like temp 1302 equals symbol to variable of A, and then say F of temp 1302 equals A times five, and then say F of four, what do we get? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so this is working. This is what we want. And I think the only issue here is if we give it as a list, we mess things up. Um, and then I want the head of temp 1302. I also want to print 1302 by itself. I'll show you what that is. Okay. So what's weird here is, even though it's hard to see, it looks like there's a space here that uh, didn't exist before. So clearly, and I think this is actually um, not a pattern. Yeah, it's not. It's A times the underscore character. So that's not a problem at all. In fact, that is probably a good idea. Um, what we actually want to do is map symbol to variable of whatever it is as a function across ABC. Let's see what that does. Booyah! Okay, so the problem is we wanted to do a map, not a... Uh, we, did, we, we were sort of hoping we could make it listable, but that, that was really pretty kludgy. Okay. Alrighty, so what we need to do here is, I could just say symbol list to variable, but maybe we can go a little, we can do a little bit better than that. Okay. Um, um, map. You know what, I think, I, I think I'm going to take that approach of using a symbol list to variable. Um, boy, and, and it's not even clear whether you would want to use the plural there. Symbol list of variables. It's a single variable that has. It's a single variable that's a list that has inside it three variables. My head just exploded. All right. Um, symbol list to variable, which will be very very similar. Um, equal map symbol 
to variable on, this is how Mathematica does a pure function, on to sim list. Okay. We're all happy now. Um, I just don't like that many spaces. Um, we'll add this. Okay. Okay. Now here we can't have a line because we're, we're, we're doing something different. Okay. So variable solutions, one solution. Um, let's see what this prints out. Probably a bunch of garbage. Or nothing because everything has a semicolon in front of it. Okay. So V12 is the list of solutions for all of them. And then um, S1243 is one solution. Okay, good. So the thing we're working on, I guess, is um, solution to function. Um, so just given one solution, which is S1243, we then look at the out var. Um, actually, I think if we do this now, it should work. Um, oh, yeah, that's the definition. So now if we do this, convert, oh man, A, X, Y, to F, of, one, two, three, this is, every time I do this, it's going to be, a, it's going to be an imaginary, whoa, not cool. Um, oh, I, I know what's wrong. Um, symbol list variable now. Yeah. I was actually not expecting that to go quite that well. Um, so now, oops, no, 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 no. Let's just see what convert is equal to after all of this crap. If it even has the right, you know, form or whatever. Uh, I, but I think we're pretty close at this point. Convert takes da 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 returns that. All right, so this is um, one one solution. The out var is that, and I want to print the out var. I don't need to print. Oh, the, well, the head of it is a symbol, but um, wait, right? We don't print that anymore. Uh, extract variable. So we've got a list of variables. Symbol list to variable. Uh, okay. So let's see what invar two is, and let's see what the head of invar two one is, which should be a symbol. So that is in var 2. Wait. Yeah, it would be nice if we actually printed it out. Pattern. Is that okay or do we want a symbol? No, pattern's fine. Um, actually, we never tested this, did we? Oh, actually, let's go ahead and test this. Um, and just because it's so weird, we're going to say clear F up here. Nope, not there. Here. And then say f of temp 1302, which in theory should be uh, a, b, c, is a plus 2 times b plus 3 times c, because I like testing my functions a little bit nicer. So if I say f123, we should get the sum of the first three squares, or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Um, so, so we're on the right track here. Alrighty, uh, solutions, outvar, so this is outvar is f, symbol list to variable invar 1, invar 2 is this, head of invar 2 is, pa that's, which is fine, that's the thing we were just checking. And then we want to say convert of invar 1, outvar, invar 2 equals that sucker there. And then tell me what converts equal to after all that. Kay. So now I should be able to call convert with these three symbols, f, and then three a list of three variables. Brother. If you'd like to sign up for when this channel is updated, you're crazy. A, X, Y, 
I'm hoping spaces don't matter, because if they do, I'm really fucked. F. You know what? Just print this out. Let, let me just see what you think this is. This is a pure function. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Convert is something that takes... Okay, so this should actually... I mean, this should at the very least give us, you know, a function that takes a list. Maybe... Oh, maybe because it, it needs to be a set equal or something. Um, and that might have to be the whole problem here. Because we're doing something really ugly... we might need to make this a set equal. Um, hmm. Actually, let's see what, let's see what this right-hand side... Well, that's actually okay. Well, let's try this with a set equal. I'm not happy about that, but it might work. No. Okay. So we have a working example here. Um, now, of course, this is more uglier than um, <laughs> than the other example because we're using a combat. We're using sort of a tag on the function followed by a list of invars, followed by this. So let's, 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 let's clear F up here too. Just seriously, just... If I hit shift space, that's interesting, when I hit shift space it doesn't try to move me to somewhere else. We're going to clear F, so let's just, let's just go a little bit simpler here and say F of invar 2. Uh, equals out var given um, given the in whoa, whoa 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 oh yeah given the solution okay I mean it, it's we're very close to working so let's see what this does for control th what this does makes for f f is a symbol that takes three takes a list of three elements and returns some crap okay good so now I want to say f of 1, 2, 3. I want to get a number out of that. Wow. Up, oh, nope, 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 doing wrong. And I'm also doing wrong in the other example now that I just realized. It is f of the list that is 1, 2, 3. And I think I saw a number down there. I did. Gorgeous. So now, can I do this? So I did this wrong. It should be a list one, two, three. A little bit delicate, but let's see. Um, that's. Um. That's not what I expected. All right, we're not going to print it from F, just print it from convert now. Okay, that's fine. Well, below that should be minus two. Oh, that is not cool. Uh, it's theoretically possible that I found a bug in Mathematica. I am I am not willing to quite say that I've done that yet. Um, but let's go ahead and look at F and convert both and see what, what, what what's going on here. So okay. F is a symbol that takes and we know F is working fine. Convert if you give it this crap, 
and then this crap. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, that's my set equal. I need to I need to change that back to equal. We cannot. We do need to evaluate the right hand side right away. Uh, but we don't have to evaluate the function right away. Boy, I don't even know if that makes sense. All right. Whoa, where are we getting the minus two minus two? Is that that? Do we get it? Do we nail it? I think we did. Um, because we're not printing f any. Well, let's see. Before we print f, what we do? We print. Yeah, we don't print um, f of anything. I think we nailed it. I think we nailed this. Okay, now to make sure that we've nailed this, well, first, control A, control C, control. There's going to be a ton of crap in here, but that's okay. And I'm going to gitify this because this is we're getting very close to absolute insane stupidity. And by the way, this is just step one, because once we've pulled out these equations for the relations. Um, we can combine these relations to come up with more equations, I, I'm, I'm thinking. So this is just individual, um, and this is just individual, um, I'm just going to say the word individual a few more times. This is just one individual, actually this is just one solution, we, we, it's going to get worse than this. But this is actually only one a relation and one solution in one relation. So now let's double check to make sure we're getting the right answer by basically putting semicolons in front of everything else in the universe. Semicolon, semicolon, I like semicolons, actually I don't. Actually I have no strong feelings about them. Hit me with your love, oh that is fucking gorgeous. That is fucking gorgeous. Alright. Okay. So now let's get this wrapped into this uh, functional form that we have here. Um, solution to function. Um, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we have our solution sol, which in this case is S1243. And we want to do holy convert of this comma this motherfucker equals this given the solution. And we don't need, in theory, we don't need intermediary variables for any of this. Um, And functional programming makes me happy, but this might be going too far. I think maybe here we actually do want to get... All right. We, we will once again be annoyed with Mathematica, given, given any day we do that. Um, so here we have the solution, and here we have... This is a little bit more than we need, but we can fix it. All right. All right, so our... Um, Module will have the variables invar, uh, outvar, invar1, invar2, and the code will be outvar is equal to the solution 111, which is the variable. Um, invar1 will be equal to the extract um, variables from the motherfucker. Um, invar2 will be the symbol, that's actually not that bad. Um, and then and here we're doing a global assign, which I don't like. Um, convert invar1, outvar1, invar2 to outvar given solution. And what is, what is this actually going to return? I mean, we could, instead of doing this horrible thing, just return... Um, Oh man, we could return. Uh, this is hideous. We could just return this, this, and this. I mean, that's kind of what we're, and then just have the the caller um, say convert. The first thing returned is you know the second thing returned. Um, 
The problem is when you start doing crap like this with symbols, really fucking bad things start to happen. Um, on the other hand, it would be much cleaner to have this not actually try to sign stuff. Pomodoro, back in two and two. And we are back. Okay. So let's just, oh man. Okay, well, I don't think this is gonna work necessarily. Uh, so what we wanna return here is, I think we don't quite have to go to the extent of putting the first two things inside of a, um, inside of a list in and of themselves. Okay. And define convert, well, okay, we'll just, we'll just go with this for right now. Um, let's go ahead and kill this. What happens if I delete everything? Okay. I think if I can do, the problem is this doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. And in fact, it might even spit out some crap that I don't want. Okay, good, it didn't. Okay. So, right now, define convert doesn't do anything, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we want to just get all these sort of predefined functions in. Come on. Okay, there we go. One fucking hell! Why? Oh, good, that, that was actually pretty nice. Um... All one freaking cell. All right, there we go. Um, wait, where does this thing come from? Ooh, and then end module. 
Let's see if it even compiles. It just hit shift return. Um, it won't have any output because module definitions don't. Okay. So now, solution. Okay, 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 hang on. And let's see, solution. Variable solutions, and I'm going to give it a different expression because I want to. Um, I was actually surprised that that worked for some reason. I mean, it, I mean, it should obviously. There we go. There's a solution for all three variables. <coughs> Excuse me. We will need to test the case where uh, it can't solve it. Like for example, if I said b plus I'm not going to do it. If it's cosine b plus sine c, it may have difficulty with that. Although, actually, that still might be okay. Okay, we're just going to call this, just have a temporary variable name for it. Um, call it t1325. And now, we want to say solution... Okay. So, solution to function of t1325 1, because these are three solutions. Um, you are correct, it does not. Okay. This is actually okay. Um, but the question is, can I actually use it in some meaningful way? And so now I want to say convert, um, Okay. Convert is Jesus Christ, I don't even remember what my convert is. It's it's hideous. Um got it up here somewhere. Convert is right. It takes as its first argument list, second argument variable. And then, uh, the r then the right. Then we get the right hand side. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay. So this is. You've got to be motherfucking kidding me. T thirteen twenty six one. T thirteen twenty six two. Uh, second parent. Oh, let's see. Given T thirteen twenty six three equals T thirteen twenty six four. Mother of God. I mean just fucking mother of God. Okay. So we're getting here a uh, convert BCA is a function that given two letters I mean really have I really done this have I achieved what I wanted with in life okay so given BC I want a um, so that by itself should just be a function let's see if that's true it is not for some reason recognizing that as a function although it really is one. But that's okay. And then I want to give you as my argument one and two and should get back three. Um, that's not what I expected. All right. Convert BCA. I want to give it one, two as my argument. Oh, fucking A. And I think that's okay that it's a set, because we could have, in theory, had... Um, we could have, in theory, had something... <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> we could have had more than one answer. 
So that is correct. Okay. So it looks like what I did there is correct, and this will just be <coughs> um, yeah, and I think it actually has to be this way because even though this doesn't say it, convert of this is a defined quantity. It's a function. Um, or is it? Hang on. BCA. So if I undo what I just did. So I'm not sure why it doesn't recognize uh, convert of just this as being a function that takes a list as its uh, argument. And just spits it out the way it was. Maybe it does actually, and it just that's the only way it knows how to print it. Let's see what the head the head of this should be function. Okay, I give up. But it, this is working. This is doing what we want, so we're we're happy. Um, okay, so now let's go back and that's for one solution. And I guess if we're going to do this the stupid way, meaning the smart way, we might as well just actually. Um, Retur instead of returning actual um, changing a function, actually just return a, a list of what solution to function returns. Motherfucker. I say it and I don't even like it. Map solution to function of this across all the solutions which are variable solutions of exp. And then just lie down and have a rest. Okay. My, my brain is bleeding, which is bad because there is a blood-brain barrier. Um, alrighty. I don't know why I do this, but I mean, I'm trying to get rid of all my variables that are predefined. But all that does is it brings up Wolf Guy again. Nobody likes you, Wolf Guy. All right. Escape W. Put this crap in here. Watch it for some reason, as always, not. Although I guess it, it's nice that it now lets me just sort of just merge them all at once. I don't have to sort of select them individually. Okay. So is this is this an, is this a um, acceptable input to Mathematica? It's not going to mean the output, but you know. So now what I want is well, it's not going to be called define convert anymore. But I mean, let's just do that. So my expression is going to be. I'm tempted to use one of the equations from the ellipses that we haven't used yet. And my temptation will become... This is actually sort of an interesting one because it's not, it's not trivial, but at the same time it's not really that difficult either. And I say that and I know that now it's going to just blow the fuck out of everything. Wilders. Um, just fucking Wilders. Um, okay, well, let's see what the first of these functions is. Um, Okay, so we're having a few problems here. Pi is apparently considered a symbol. Um, I'm going to pretend we didn't see that. Because it turns out to be a harder case than I thought it would be. Um, but we do need to deal with it at some point. Um, this is going to define AF. Let, you know, let's do the eccentricity. I, I kind of want to do the eccentricity. Because uh, these are formulas I actually know about. I actually have them already done. And I can I can verify them. 
I say that like I, like I really mean it. Um, um, so this is saying, given AB, you can get the eccentricity as being, well, that, that is okay. If you have B in the eccentricity, you can get A as um, B over 1 minus X plus or minus B over 1 minus eccentricity squared. And that we can actually check in BC lib. So we have A, B to E. But what we're looking for is E, B to A. Do we have that? E, B to, we don't. We have, okay. We have E, A to B. So that's, let's see if that, uh, minus A squared. So that would be like minus A times one minus eccentricity squared. Yeah. Not tremendously exciting, I realize. I mean, this is not, this is not giving us anything that's really super interesting. But the fact that we can actually do this means that if we have a set of uh, relations, we can get more, we can get equations out of them that might be helpful to someone. Um, let me try one more. I mean, we had one big failure there because we uh, used expression. We didn't, I didn't realize that pi was considered a symbol. I mean, it is, but, you know. Let's see. This is the, that parameterization. Some of these are pretty trivial. This one is probably the one that's going to give us the most trouble. Um, but by which I mean, this is probably the one that I think we can get the correct answer out of. Um, that's fine. Inverse functions are being used. You go, girl. If you have AF and you want B, you can do this. And this, yeah. If you have AB and you want F, I think that's, that's not, that's, is that? Yeah, I think that is the correct, uh, th that is correct. So you have B and F, you can get back A by getting that. So um, again, pretty fucking cool, I think. I'm gonna push this to GitHub before I forget. I'll show them all. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's try another one here. Uh, this one, this one. Oh, oh yeah. The pink area. The, it's actually the purple area that we want, but I think the purple area we don't have anything really exciting about yet. We want this first. I would be surprised if we get anything useful out of this. <coughs> okay. This says if you have a, b, pi, and x, again, because uh, pi is a symbol, um, and you want area pink, well, that's the definition of area pink, so that's not very interesting. Um, And some of these are not going to be great because uh, we're not getting close from solutions out of this sucker, which, uh, which is not surprising. This is actually a pretty nasty looking equation. Um, area from center, eccentricity. Mm -hmm. Area of the purple. Um, yeah. Um, and and one of the big things here is we're now using some very simple uh, simple relations. We need to start combining these, and we're going to get some really. I have no idea what the hell we're going to get out of that, to be honest. Um, all right. So now we're going to do something that's so ugly uh, that I can't find it. No. Um, I was hoping to create an astronomy quote unquote library of some very basic functions. Um, and these are actually written as functions, but we can, we can, we can work around that. Um, so et to unix is a very, st is too simple. Uh, approx these, these are too complicated. <laughs> One is just right. Um, this is probably 
the thing that gives you right ascension, declination, latitude, longitude, and GMST will give you the azimuth. This will give you the altitude. What's interesting about these functions is that you can also just get some other subset of information like declination, latitude, and longitude, and azimuth to RA. And the, the cool thing about that is it's going to answer a lot of astronomy questions of people asking if I know that, you know, uh, I'm looking at a star and it's over here and I know it's RA and declination, uh, and I know what longitude I'm in, can I get the latitude or some, some bullshit like that. Um, and and that, that's, that's the kind of thing we could, in theory, use this, uh, this massive, ugly solution-like thing to do. Uh, we do need, uh, obviously, to fix it, and um, let's go ahead and uh, add this. Uh, the big problem here is, of course, um, nope, wrong one. Wait, no, what the hell am I doing? No, where the hell did my thing go? BC depend. No, nope, no, no, no. Functions of relations. That's that's the hideousness here. Um, so to do the problem here is going to be pi is not a symbol. I mean it is, but we don't want it to be. Um, so we need to figure out a way to emit it. Um, and we have some other ones here too. If we know if, uh, if we have problems where you can't preserve, uh, if the requested output is already in the input. Tons of other crap here that we're we're gonna um, kind of worry about, but but this this might be some cool stuff here, um, and you know we can um, there's a there's a lot more to do here. We do need to say you know if you can get from A to B to C, and then you can get from A B C to D, you can get from A B to D through that sort of transitive closure there. Okay, and as you could probably tell from the way my voice is winding down, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream for now, not take the Pomodoro for right now. Thank you for watching. I will hope to be back later today, but you never know. Oh, and we've got two minutes and like a few seconds to two hours, but I'm not going to break that.